angry guy here, and black women are turning on the simps who enable them. Help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it. Like the video and turn on notifications and never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. So black women are turning on the simps who enable them. We're going to go ahead and jump into this video. I think it's quite interesting. So let's watch. Hey guys, happy new year. I'm back. And I want to take back what I said about Dr. Umar. Um, the reason why I'm taking it back is because a video that I came across and um, it really pissed me off. Uh, took me back to how uh, I had like a, there was some friends, well not friends, but it was some girls that I witnessed doing the same type of bull crap to some men and I don't like that and so yeah so this video really pissed me off. Um, but first and foremost happy new year and glad that we all made it to another year. Yay that's wonderful. But yeah, um, so basically how I feel is that I just feel like Dr. Umar is spending a lot of time getting on the men when he should be getting on women too. I feel like he's doing this because he doesn't want to lose his female audience and addressing um, some of the spiteful stupid things that a lot of women do. If Dr. Umar does plan on changing um, this group of people he needs to work on addressing both sides not just one because you cannot move forward without addressing the other side which is black women so i had um came across this video that very very much struck a nerve with me which is why i'm really angry right now um I can't stand when people antagonize people when or like hit them while they're down and this this video very much reminded me of somebody doing that same thing and I couldn't stand it. All right, so um yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Where you going? Where you going? Uh-huh. Twelve hundred a week now. It's over. Yep. You wanted to take care of that girl, your little new girlfriend, and her kids. Put me on now, please, yes, please. yes, yes, yes. Because you, you, you got me messed up. You got me messed up. I don't care. I don't care. You, you taking care of other people's kids. You get 1200 I don't care. For what? Yes, yes, yes. Because I need all that money. I need it all. I need every I really penny I can house. get. Like, yep. Listen. Now you can see your kids once a week instead of seeing them all the time so whenever you feel like it once a week every oh well oh, at least i'm getting paid at least i'm getting paid did oh, you, you want to be laid up with some other girl uh-huh yeah you got me messed up you now stop, you stop doing that no you no there, no because like, that's what you get you embarrass me you, you you embarrass me you embarrass me you, them, they, oh, you embarrassing me. me i don't care i don't care they can look all they want oh well i can't believe you dog. oh well now yeah 1200 a week yeah no, I'm gonna egg this one on. Yep, I'm gonna be buying plenty. Yeah, where you going? Where you going? See, uh, men, this is what happens when you choose to impregnate a rotten egg. You can't vet a rotten egg and then get mad at the rest of what the women in your group because you didn't properly vet the egg. Like, you chose a rotten egg and you had to deal with it but still that lady in the video is sad and crazy um just to be doing all of that girl you're getting 1200 a week 1200 a week a child does not need 1200 a week yeah it needs money but not like a week come on really this the court system is made to separate people the court system is made to um, separate, like to make a broken household because a woman feel that she could get this much money, then of course, all for it. Let's break up. Let, let me cause misery to you, especially if you're jealous. If you're a jealous girl, and I know jealous women, I, trust me, I know jealous women. 
Like, they'll do some stuff like that. They'll do some spiteful stuff and hit you, kick you while you're down. So, yeah. Just like the girl was in the video. Just like the girl was in the video. She was kicking the guy while he was down just because he was, what, hanging, probably hanging around another girl. Yes, he had moved on. And yes, good. She won her case. That's wonderful. I'm all for it. You won your case. Good. There's no need to antagonize. This is how you get back slapped. That's how you get punched, shot. Like, you don't know the mind state somebody's in at that moment. And you're already beating them up while they're already down. Like, you can't be doing that. That bothers me so much. Because I know that if I was a guy, like, I would have probably a bad temper. <laughs> I'm be honest. Like, I probably wouldn't have a terrible temper. And stuff like that is it can it could pull somebody out of their character. And I don't I just don't like stuff like that. It's giving my baby daddy. Who daddy that baby daddy? Daddy, my baby daddy. That's what it's giving, honey. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. But yeah, so like I don't know. Dr. Umar, this, judging by this video, you really need to start addressing women. You really need to start now. If you do plan on trying to make a change into the black community, you need to start with women that do stuff like this. This is unacceptable. This type of stuff is unacceptable. You cannot address one side of the community without addressing the other side. And if you do decide to continuously address that one side of the community, and they change there's nothing that's going to happen with these type of girls like what at least try to get men to vet women properly so guys here you have it now here you have black women that are turning on the simps who enabled them black women who are now like oh my gosh these simps are going to be the destruction of us you see, guys, women did not realize what was happening. They thought that being given unlimited candy would work out. Unlimited unaccountability would work out. Giving women unlimited accountability. Initially, you know, it sounds great for women because, oh, we're good. We can do whatever we want. We'll get away with everything. And it'll only hurt the men. Nah, sis. You see, initially it'll hurt the men. But eventually it'll begin to hurt everyone. And it'll hurt women more than it hurts the men because the men will just start walking away and avoiding the women and taking off and, for, and starting new lives. There's a lot of dudes who are back on child support and, you know, they throw these dudes in jail and these dudes go to jail and they serve long sentences in jail. And you know what a lot of these dudes end up doing? They end up saying, all right, they say, okay, bet, bet on this. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not paying this child support ever. You can put me in jail for as long as you want to. I'm not paying this child support. You already put me in jail. I lost my job because you put me in jail over some small, over some nonsense on top of it. And it's hard to find another job. And y'all want me to stay out here and, and work for this and keep fighting for what? I can't even eat. I can't live. There's no reason to go on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to live on nothing. And women don't realize that there are men who can live on nothing. What does it mean to live on nothing? There are men, because when you lose everything as a man, you have to learn how to live on nothing. When you end up homeless as a man, you have to learn how, on how to live on nothing. But the thing is that you can actually live on nothing. What do I mean by that? Okay, well, can they snatch your health insurance away? If you have nothing, guys, I talk about the ec economics of homelessness and poverty quite often, right? And I've been telling you guys about this for a while now. And a lot of dudes don't seem to comprehend just how feasible, just how rewarding it can be to say, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with this. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to get my money. I'm going to go and get my money. I'm not going to worry about this nonsense anymore. You know? Because I've done everything I can do as a man. I've paid my bills. I've tried to stay on top of my, I've tried to help my kids. And this is what society is doing to me. Okay, bet. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to play this game. I'm just going to go and cut off all of that nonsense. Cut it all out. 
cut every single bit of that out. And I'm not going to work anymore. I'm not going to work anymore. I'm just going to live off the state and live off the land. So what happens when men start doing this? What happens when men say that they're done and they're just going to live off the state now? They're going to do what women do. What happens? Look at this, guys. So I've said this before. When you, a lot of these people, when they become homeless, they will get the equivalent of $50 a day minimum in food. Because, guys, if you order food over DoorDash or Uber, Uber Now, you know exactly how expensive it is. Even if you go to McDonald's and try to buy food at McDonald's for like $16 for a Big Mac and for a Big Mac, a Coke, and a fries. Come on. I know that because I just ordered one. It wasn't a Big Mac. I just ordered some like two fries and a drink. But <laughs> it was like that was like 16 bucks. It was 16 guys for two large fries. Two, I got for two large fries and two Diet Cokes. That was 16 bucks. I paid 16 bucks for two large fries and two large co- and two Diet Cokes. So this is not a game. This is not a game. You know, when you and you know, when you're having food delivered, come on, man. It just it, it even adds it adds so much more. So guys, when you're living on the street, living, you know, living off handouts, right? Just people coming around and bringing food to you on a daily basis, like, you know, handouts on the streets, that works out to about eight, 50, a minimum of $50 a day, and that's $18,000 a year. If you get food stamps, that's $3,360 a year, okay? So some dudes are like, okay, so I'm not going to do this anymore. I'll just live off, I'll just live off, live off the streets. But now, so that's $21,360 a year right there if you decide that you're done with society, you're done working and everything else. Health insurance, go and get Medicaid. I'm not going to work anymore. If you live in California, you can get Medi-Cal. That's the equivalent of Medicaid. So now you're getting free health insurance now. You're not grinding anymore. You're like, I don't care anymore. I'm done with this. So that's for, so what does insurance cost? Typically $477 a month. Medicaid is really good insurance. It's great insurance. So that works out to $5,724 a year that you're receiving in health insurance that you don't have to pay for. So you're getting $21,360 in food minimum per year, per year. Okay, it's a lot more than that when you add, when you factor in, for example, going to uh, food pantries and everything else. But just in handouts and food stamps, it's over twenty one thousand dollars, and you can maximize that using food pantries. Food pantries, oh my goodness! Next, and like I said, health insurance five thousand seven hundred twenty four dollars. Cell phone, you can get this thing called the ACP ACP credit. They'll pay for your cell. They'll pay for your cell phone. They will pay for your cell phone. That works out to three hundred and sixty dollars a year. Get yourself a go, go and get yourself a nice phone, son. Go and get yourself a phone, a nice phone, young man. Get yourself a nice phone, young man. All right. Go on Amazon, get a refurbished iPhone. It's been like a hundred bucks, hundred, two hundred bucks. Or there's a lot of websites. Get yourself a nice phone, really nice phone. Okay. So that's three hundred and sixty dollars. So your cell phone bill is covered. Clothes, clothing, toiletries, blankets, etc. I'm estimating this at $50 a month. However, it's much more than that because you will get, you know, in, in terms of you can get tons of free clothing, tons of free free clothing, toiletries, blankets. When you really add up all the clothing, toilets, and, and to, clothing, uh, toiletries, and blankets that you can receive, it's really more like it's more than a, it's more than $50 a month. It's more like $150 a month or it's way more, even more than $150 a month. That's really that's a really low estimate. I, I put that at $600, but it's really at least like 150, you know, that's really a, a minimum of like $1,800, $1,800 of just getting your toiletries off the street, getting them from organizations, clothing from organizations that you, you could get. How do you think these people live off the streets? How do you think they get clean clothes? They don't pay for any of this. Haircuts. Let's say two free haircuts a month. That'll equal about, you know, $25 a cut. That's fifty. That's fifty dollars, okay. And it's much more for 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 like women. It's more than that. And but like you know, cuts are cuts cost money now. Cuts cost money now. Twenty five dollars in today's economy is, is cheap. If our cut is practically cheap, so fifty dollars. Let's say fifty a month in free hair in free haircuts. That's six hundred a year. 
that is definitely six hundred dollars a year. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. So I, I want y'all to just understand. Sleeping in shelters and free housing accommodations, a motel will cost a minimum of fifty dollars per. Uh, a motel would cost a, 50, a minimum of fifty dollars per day. Per day, I said month, but it's I meant to say per day. Okay, and rent would be even more. Now, a motel these days cost a lot more than that. Okay, but let's say it's fifty dollars a day because these people do sleep in. They sleep in shelters. They sleep in. They get hotel and accommodations, but they are still perpetually homeless. So that works out to about eighteen thousand dollars a year in free housing that these people actually do utilize. Free car, and then they also get free access to transportation. So, like we're talking about, you know, if you're like in in California, you're using the trolley, or using the uh, using the, or New York using the, the subway system, or you know, for example, there's these services, access to uh, us, free car service, access services, so taxis, uh, uh, access a ride, and like for example. New York, 60 rides per month. I just looked this up on the internet. 60 rides per month, up to $25 per ride, which works out to $1,500 a month in free rides. That's $18,000, okay? That's insane. That's absolute madness. So, guys, this actually works out to a minimum of $47,000 a year. And keep in mind, I underestimated a lot of things. these things, such as the toiletries, and such as the sleep and such as like sleeping accommodations, I underestimated and even the food. I underestimated a lot of these things. So when you really like adjust it, they receive you can receive about fifty thousand dollars a year of untaxed fifty thousand dollars a year of untaxed benefits just by just by saying I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to you know or I'm done with this and I'm going to live off. I'm not going to pay for anything. So what a lot of dudes will do is they will go. They will get a piece of land, get a piece of land somewhere cheap, or they'll go into the woods, and they will put a camper on it. They will live in the camper, and the government can't really do much about that. Oh, what do you want to do? <laughs> put these, put make these dudes homeless. They will go and they will live on nothing. Most men will live on nothing, and they will hustle here and there. They'll find ways to, you know, maybe they'll get cash assistance if they're if they're able to qualify, or they'll find other ways. Some of them will go panhandle. Some dudes will rec recycle cans. Some dudes will day trade. It doesn't matter. Men will find a way. They will find a way to make money. They'll get into crypto and they'll make their money in crypto. Because people are doing business in crypto right now. There's an entire market of crypto. And they'll make their money. Doesn't need to be a lot. And keep in mind that all their other expenses are being paid for. Because while women take this for granted, these men... They're going to live. They're going to live comfortably. And a lot of these things, for example, the cost of a phone right now, you can get Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile, you know, 200, like 250 bucks a year, something like that. And whatever. And you have inner and you basically pay off Mint Mobile and you have you have phone for the entire year. So it's dirt cheap, even if you want to pay out of pocket, out of pocket. These men will live very, very cost effective lives and they will have everything they need. Flat screen TVs. All right, multiple TVs in that camper, just chilling, nice sofa, bed, refrigerator, everything that they need, everything that they need, grill, you know, they'll cook when they're hungry, cook very, very well, season up that meat, yes, we rub that seasoning into it, they'll live very, very well, men will live very comfortable and, and easy lives, just getting plenty of sleep and plenty of rest. And you might say, well, what about if you want they want a relationship with a woman? They'll go down to TJ. They'll hop on them, you know, as long as they have access to their passport. Because what they'll do with the child support system is they'll they'll basically say that you cannot re renew your passport, you know. But as long as you have your passport now and it's good, passports are usually good for ten years. You know, there are ways there are ways to deal with it. I just wanted you guys to see this. Black women are turning on their sims who enable them because they see what's happening. Black men are walking away. All men are walking away. But the black men, decent black men in these communities, they're done with Tyrone's nonsense. They're done with Pookie's nonsense. And they can see that now the consequences of simping are setting in because you have this simp Umar that's like, baby, you can do no wrong. Black women, you can do no wrong. What they're doing is they, these, this man has helped to just further decimate the black community. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. So let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.